Taurus, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angela333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a few things before we start. Everything you need to know is in the description box. If you'd like a personal reading, my contact details are below. Also below uh, how to enter my free personal reading giveaway. So with that, Aquarius, let's get started with your reading. Please know that this reading... Ooh, Wow, can be about any area of your life, um, not specific to one area. So take the messages how they resonate with you. This card just flew out there. This is the chariot, number seven. This is about determination, self-control, career advancement, um, movement forward, and acknowledgement of success by others. Okay, so an energy of forward movement, okay, being acknowledged by others. Definitely can be around career, but also can be in other areas of your life. Can also be, I always see that card too as a road trip here. Okay, we got the two of Michael. You got, it will be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. Okay, so if you're experiencing right now that you're not seeing a whole lot of movement, it could be because... Um, there may be some sort of decision. I always see that too as like um, two people butting heads too. So, um, but really the meaning is making some sort of decision. You're not finding the, the alignment between your head and your heart there. So let's see what else we have. Oh, there's your energy, the star, beautiful. Number 17, which is eight. It says a dream come true, believe in yourself the end of a difficult situation. All right. So interesting. I'm going to pull one more card. Now it could be that someone else um, may be coming towards you making a decision, but this can definitely be you being guided here. Once you make a decision, right, things are going to align for you. Let's see what else. Okay. And we have the Ace of Michael. So a wonderful new idea, don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress, clear up communication problems with others. Okay, so it feels like there's a decision here, right? Maybe to um, contact somebody or somebody contacting you. Some of you, this could be indecisive about something in your career you're trying to make the decision to do. So let's see what happens here. The Ace of Michael for me too can be that uh, um, that realization or even epiphany, you know, about where it just comes to you um, out of nowhere, right? So some of you it could be an indication that you're going to receive some sort of communication too from someone. All right, let's see what we got here. We got the Eight of Wands. <laughs> it's just talking about communication, and we have the Hierophant. Okay. I feel like for some of you, this may be an indication that your higher self is telling you that you need to get things moving. And it may be that you need to make a decision here, right, to move things forward. For some of you, this could be communication here, right, in a relationship or someone maybe that you see yourself in a relationship could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay, so let's see what else comes out. Page of Swords. The chariot. So chariot twice, Cancerian energy. Some of you, this could be you making a decision around your career, your work here. So it's an energy here of listening to your higher self, right? Doing the research here, okay? Investigating the details here. And that could be why, too, you're needing to make a decision, needing more clarity. Now, in love... This could be someone here that maybe you've had some on and off communication, uh, could be someone very curious about you. That could be the decision here as well, right? Whether you want to move forward with this person could also be someone spying on you. Let's see here. we got the five of pentacles and we have the three of wands. Okay. Well, doors are opening for you here, uh, Aquarius. So if you've been feeling like, you know, you've been feeling like something's lacking, there hasn't been a whole lot of movement, uh, there's definitely opportunity there, okay? I feel like opportunities are waiting for you. 
but I feel like you have to also have the intention of what you want, and that may be part of the decision here. I feel like, too, don't fall into old patterns. You, if you fall into old patterns, you could uh, find yourself still in this place here of feeling like, um, you know, something's lacking, okay? And like I said, this could be the decision here. You may be feeling like a situation. You're not getting what you need. You're not getting what you want here. And so you're doing the research here. You're looking at the possibilities. And then comes the decision. Let's see what else. We have judgment, your judgment call, four of cups. All right. Well, potentially there could be some offers coming your way here with the four of cups. Um I'm going to say, you know, there's going to be one that stands out. So if you're dating, right, there could be more than one offer here. If, you know, this has to do with career, you know, job offers here. Okay, definitely have to make a judgment call based on your experience, your wisdom. Some of you, I feel here too, this could definitely be around love. Some of you may be making the decision here around moving forward, right, from a past situation in love, and you're hesitant here about new love. So that could be the decision as well. Let's see what else we have. Three of Pentacles, okay, Temperance. Well, they're telling you to have patience. We got the Three of Pentacles. I feel like they're saying things are going to come together. It may be a situation if you're out there dating, there's going to be more than one offer here or people that are going to be interested, but there's going to be one that stands out. So they're telling you to have patience or something here around timing. Some of you, this could be a new job offer, all right, a new job offer here. Okay, so review the details, right? Re review the details of, you know, the job offer, the contracts, whatever it may be. Okay, something's cut. There's definitely opportunity here that's opening up for you, and you're going to have to make some sort of decision. The moon card. Okay. The fears here of not enough or something lacking here. Pisces energy. We also have Sagittarius and the justice. Okay. Some of you I get here. Let's start with love. Some of you may be having a hard time moving on from a past situation. And you may be moving on from or uh, having a hard time because why right, you didn't get what you need. You didn't get the clarity that you needed. This could be someone who just, you know, if it feels like it's just an illusion here, right? And you may be wanting justice here, okay, with the justice card. You may be wanting the clarity. Now, for some of you, I feel here too, if this is not about love, this could just be, right, I feel fear of making the right decision. Do I pick the right opportunity? Am I going to get the money that I want here in the situation? Okay, is it going to work out in my benefit? There could definitely be some documents involved here in your situation. Review them carefully. You also have here at the Knight of Pentacles. So it feels like Aquarius. Um, things may be at a standstill here um, until you make some sort of decision. I also feel like there could be some communication, some sort of message that is coming towards you. And there's going to be the opportunity for you to get some clarity, to do your research, right? To find out more, to make a decision, okay? But it's telling you that's the end of a difficult situation. I feel like once you make this decision, you're really going to come into alignment of where you're supposed to be. And I feel like it's the decision is, is the hardest thing for you, right? So let's see here um, what the messages are here for you. We've got the Moonology deck and the Butterfly Oracle. Okay, hold your vision, right? That's part of this Three of Wands here, right? You have to know what you want. You have to know what your intention is, your goal is to manifest it, to draw it towards you. And once you know, right, then you kind of, then the next step is to commit to it. 
The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yes, and that is the second time you've gotten this message here. All right, the end of a difficult situation. This is the full moon in Capricorn. Emotions are running high, so it may be the emotions here that is making it hard for you to make a decision, right? Fear getting in the way. Okay, nothing will come of it. So they're telling you nothing will come up of, you know, being in that energy here of, you know, letting your emotions get to you, okay? So it may be fear, it may be emotions. Let's see here. Look at the bigger picture, all right? That is the full moon in Sagittarius. Um, it's also got a Cupid's arrow there or crossbow and arrow, but um, it's red here. So it feels, you know, some of you, this could be around love. Okay, you got to look at the big picture here. And, and no matter what you're doing, some of you may be very focused on the details. And that's why emotions are running very high. We also have, oh, look at that, a new romantic cycle begins. Yeah, some of you, this is around love. This is the new moon in Libra, but some of you, this could be a new cycle in your life that is bringing you more clarity and bringing you more balance. And look at this, another arrow here. Luck is on your side. And this is the new moon in Sagittarius. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. All right, let's get some guidance here and then we'll read your message here from spirit and your ancestors. All right, we got intuition. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide and trust your intuition no matter what. I always find that Aquariuses are very intuitive. So listen to your intuition. Very wise too. Look at that. Beautiful. You have miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on the way. Your prayers have been answered and surrender to the how. It may be just, you know, how things are going to happen that's that's causing you to not make a decision. But you got the star card here, right? Your prayers have been answered. It says here too, a dream come true. Something is in the works here for you, Aquarius. You just have to believe that and make the decision, right? And it may be that you could be holding yourself back, right, from some really nice things that are coming towards you. So let's see what we have here. We have Dearest Aquarius, we have something exciting to share with you. You are manifest, you are a manifesting master and you don't even know it. There will always be enough and everything that you need in your life. Money, opportunities, love, kindness. So whatever you're asking guidance about, have faith and be open to many ways in which you experience prosperity. Spirit is the source of your supply. The universe is always reflecting back to you what you believe. So whenever you fall into insecurity, you will be shown an illusion as if your fear were real. But the truth is, is that the universe is abundant. You are and always have been enough and abundance is your natural state. If you can imagine something consistently as truth, you can and will create it. You are so on the right path. Now keep believing. Then the scene happens. Love you more and more every day. All right. Beautiful message there for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.